All right, bring the hands up. And down. And breathe in. And, oh, extend the legs. Yeah. Lift the feet up. Lift the feet up. Yeah. Press the knees down a little. Yeah. Push the knees down and then relax the knees. Stretch the back of the legs. Breathe in and out. Yeah. Think way up in the sky. Think way up in the sun. Just imagine you're bringing that sunlight down through the top of your head, charging up your own little sun in your chest. And let it wash through your whole body. And wash the brains and the eyes, the mouth, the throat, the lungs, the kidneys, stomach. Let all the organs, all the muscle. Relax the ankles. Relax the ankles so the feet fall. Yeah, see if you're pulling your feet up or you're just letting them go. Come down. Come down. Okay, breathe in from the earth. Draw the chi up through the body, through the spines. Down the front of the body. Well, one spine. <laughs> Not spines. <laughs> Just imagine you can feel that energy being pulled up from the earth, washing the bones, washing the bone marrow, stimulating the blood production, stimulating the bone growth. Relax your face and smile. Have that feeling of smiling coming up from the side. Relax the shoulders, extend the fingertips, breathing in. And out, and in, then out. Look right over your palms. Imagine you're staring at the horizon. And out. Scooping down, breathing in, deep breath and squeeze and exhale. Squeeze all that out through the blood, all the muscle tissue. And focus in the bones. Imagine you can soak and then squeeze all the blood and chi out of the bones, every bone of your body. And then it just rushes back in and focus on the ligaments and Tendons, squeezing, wrapping, twisting, and you're wringing them out. And bring everything back. And just relax, relax all the joints, and then bring your feet back in one at a time. So when your legs are out, check that. Are you doing this? Are you pulling the toes up or just relaxing? Right? When they relax, the foot will fall and then you're going to feel it pulling and as the foot fall, falls. Yeah, I can, I can tell, I can see myself doing this sometimes. And you, you can see the difference when I hold them up right? and then when they fall. And then push the knees back so the back stretches and then just relax the knees. So sometimes when you're standing, you can do that. You know, you stand, just push the knees back and then relax. Don't push. Okay? So from here, yeah, just push the knees back. Just just for a little stretch and then relax. Yeah, the back over here gets really tight. Okay? And then even this stretch, you can pull it back. Right? And you're going to feel all of this stretch, right? You pull it back and then let it just drop down. And then you can stretch it down and then let it go. So in between, just always practicing the letting it go from there. All these small little stretches. And then you can, um, you know, self-massage, we're always massaging the large, the large muscles, right? But you can, you gotta press by the joints. Necessarily right on 
inch parts but right where the joints are just press to the side and just gently press all those points right and that's where the that's where the muscle tissue is attaching to the bone and so you just want to kind of press and stimulate them yeah. and so all those attachment points those attachment points they don't have much blood running through them you look at a muscle chart that's the white part it's white because you just they're really they're tough yeah they're tough they're dense you don't have big veins running through them that's why they're white so you have to right, move you have to move them or stretch them or manually massage right? manually man manipulate right? and that just helps the helps to flush them out and loosen them up you know, stimulate them from there yeah, I jumped in the car this morning I could feel right over here like oh so I'm just while I'm driving I'm trying to dig my fingers and loosen loosen up over here and good thing I did <laughs> it did, did help yeah so over here same thing these are stabilizer muscles so if you look at your anatomy charts right, they're just really white it's called the ITB band iliotibial band but uh, they're tough for a reason right when you stand they, they it helps stabilize you from so because they're so tough it doesn't take much for them to get tighter and sore and irritating yeah so it's like <laughs> it's always <laughs> it's all this pounding and digging if you have a massage gun that's a good place to be drilling the massage gun mm. all up and down you have to loosen it up and that constant from there okay. and then same thing with the knees i like to um just kind of gently grab and then get the thumbs and slide the thumbs down right so top of the knees and just slide it down and just gently pull that muscle and you know, just dig your finger and then so it grabs the muscle and just pull it away from from the joint yeah so you pull it up towards you i'm, I'm a big believer in kind of pushing the muscle away from the bone away from the joints And then on the bottom too, you can kind of dig and push it in or push it away. Yeah. And if you use two, two thumbs, right, that makes it a little easier on each thumb. Sometimes I go thumb on thumb. So all those points. You know, you're sitting down and watching your favorite show or watching the parade <laughs> might as well massage yourself everybody thinks oh you all beat up like no i'm trying to do this before i get beat up <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so all that constant movement yeah so and then inside here right inside here there's a big muscle so you can feel where um you call it the valley right where the, the head of the muscle and then right in between you can feel that groove so when you grab right inside here like you can feel like there's a little where the muscle separates and if you press you don't have to press too hard it's sore yeah right over there so you just kind of gently press and pull and just work your way up you know So the self massage is good and then the shin is always tight because that's supporting look what's above it that's supporting right <laughs> you stand so the shins are always tight oh my my calf muscles are sore you know when i trade massage with my friends and they learn thai massage they want to they want to walk on my calf muscles they want to walk with the knees they want they, they want to show off and i said no <laughs> my calf muscles are like they got golf balls oh. in them yeah so something you can just squeeze yep yeah? just squeeze and the compression oh that reminds me i gotta look for compression stuff for my mom yeah you know if you have um <clears throat> i know we, we should start class pretty soon but the massage is good yeah the self massage and you have people <clears throat> who who are sitting or lying down all the time yeah 
like my mom now, she's 96 more and more. She's just sitting in the wheelchair, right? She's less and less uh, mobility. So um, I, I don't do it all the time, but last couple of weeks I went to visit her and she, she's wearing, she's either pulling up her pants leg, but I can see and say, oh, all dried, right? So I'm massaging, um, um, putting the lotion on top and I decided, oh, let me check. I didn't check her feet for a long time. So I pull off her socks and the bottom over here, just dark, dark red. And it was shocking, yeah? yeah. So I'm looking for the sores, but I realized there's no sores yet. But what it is, is she's like this for hours and hours a day, right? Yeah. The blood just pooling and sitting at the bottom of her feet. Right? There's no mechanical pumping going on, right? Of this, there's no this, right? This is, you can't just rely on the blood, blood pressure to push that blood back out, you know? And that's why if, if you've had people in hospital beds, you know they got to be turned, right? Bed sores. Or if you can afford it or the that hospital has, right? The, you're sitting there visiting and you hear the bed shifting, yeah. right? Because it's changing the pressure. Yeah, so if you, if you have, if, if you know people like that or they're getting bloated, right? Get compression socks. Yeah. That's one. That's the, the first simplest thing is compression socks. But... I'm telling them compression socks not really going to work for my mom because it's just pooling on the bottom. Yeah? Yeah. She did have the swelling. So they have in all different price ranges. You can buy really expensive hundreds of dollars, but they have simple, um, oh, basically like, like boots, right? They're, they're air filled and they kind of pump you. Yeah? They pump and they massage. Yeah, so if you look online for devices to massage and compression, you'll find things. So I said, oh, I think I got to find something like that for my mom. Yeah, have that. That's good. And, and they sell massagers just for the legs and calves, but this one she needs. So Mark Cheng, right, because he's hooked up with all these, um, all these companies, every so often he puts on like, oh, yeah, I'm wearing my hypo, hyperbaric boots right he's got fancy stuff <laughs> but they help so his is like a whole boot sleeve comes up right hooked up to i don't know a air pump machine right and compression yeah and release compression release compression and it it's i'm sure it's fancy enough where it's it's individual it's not just the whole thing compressing but might be working different sections yeah from there but watch for that you know if you have you have people check their feet and if you see that dark coloring right you can massage you can elevate but you can look for simple simple these compression devices to, to help with that yeah, from there yeah. or even um i'm thinking you know those little bike things those exercise like in my mind every day all the residents in my mom's place they, sh they should be spending five to 15 minutes just to get that movement and motion yeah, just put it in front of them yeah but but i know <laughs> uh, but anyway yeah so anyway yeah do the massage i haven't talked about this a long time yeah constantly your hands right just all these small joints just wiggle them polish them right you can stretch them a little relax right Polish all the bones, polish all the joints. Yeah. So that's one of the um, that's one of your maintenance things for arthritis. Right? Yeah. Don't let the uh, arthritis is inflammation, but a lot of times what's happening is you have calcification. Yeah. So trying to polish them and keep them clean. And, yeah. And, uh, oh. Same thing, you want a fancy hand massager, you go to um, Marukai and you walk in on the left side, they have a, it's under $100, they have a hand massager, you stick your hand inside and yeah, they just, <laughs> yeah, I have one at home, I, I hardly use it, my friend gave it to me, I really should be using it every day, yeah, from there, yeah.
So, ah. But every so often, just treat yourself, yeah? Once a month or something, go get a massage from somebody you trust. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's just a simple relaxing massage. Yeah. You can do that. All right. Hands up. Yeah. Feel from inside stretching. When you stretch, relax. Yeah. Relax. And down. Okay. Bring your feet back. Yeah. Just about maybe width of underarm. Not not too wide and keep your knees pointed pointed straight and gently press gently press and relax as you're pressing and feel the muscles expanding pressing into the earth pressing into the ground bring your toes down and while you're expanding relax every time you relax you can feel that little surge the muscles expanding and stretching and relax the hips as you expand Open the throat, nice deep breath while you expand and imagine the top of your head being pulled and suspended from above. Let the chin, the chin falls, the head starts pulling back. And drop your shoulders, drop your arms, take a deep breath. Let it all out. Slowly expand your palms. Stretch your fingertips. Take a second deep breath. Let it all out. Relax all the joints, expand in every direction. Take a third deep breath. Let it all out and breathe. And then just breathe regular, normally. And when you're ready, as you breathe, take your hands up. Feel the fingertips being pulled, pulling Pulling, pulling the whole arm, and then they relax a little bit, washing the face. You tilt the sternum up while you exhale, right where it gets full, come down. Just the head falling, open the neck. Feel everything letting go, and then begin again. Right, fingertips being pulled, dragging the arms out. Tilt the sternum, just before the knees, and come down. And breathing in. And out. And down. As you come down, and imagine it stretching and gently pulling on the spine. So it slowly, gently stretches the spine all the way down to the tailbone. You can feel the legs gently pressing and being sucked into the earth. Imagine something pulling your feet. Okay, one hand up, one hand down, looking to the side. Relax the bottom hand and breathe in and turn just the head. And exhale. The fingertips being pulled and stretched away from the body. Looking at the palm first. And then looking at the second finger. Just drop the other hand. Just let the other hand drop all the way down. Don't restrict the movement. And then finally looking in between the fingers. Right? Look way out at the mountain top or the horizon. And train your eyes, train the intent. Back to center. Breathe in and out and down. Okay, moving to the shoulders. Hands fall first and then fold at the elbow. And then squeeze the shoulder blades together. And up and down. 
when we're focused on only the shoulder blades, the inside lower corner of each shoulder blade. So what happened to all the men? I, I, I know Ross is here, but what happened to all the men today? Where's all the husbands? And, oh. <laughs> I realize all, all the husbands are missing <laughs> today. Oh. Was there a special event that we missed? Are they are they pulling the you know Father's Day is all week? Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> all the way down. Relax. One side. So focus inside the shoulder blade. You're moving inside the shoulder blade. Relax the waist, relax the neck. Yeah, I have memories of of my, my best friend in me. And, you know, I don't know, elementary, intermediate, high school, right? We played at the river by ourselves, right? My parents didn't know where we were. They just, they just knew we were somewhere in Hilo. <laughs> but we always had that one friend, right? With you don't realize it too later, but what the what the parents say, yeah, you know, tell everybody come, right? Hang out at the house. So you kinda <laughs> know where everybody is, right? So there are a few houses like that. Of course what they don't know is that we're going in the back where it's all undeveloped, <laughs> running through the Wainaku grass, <laughs> making, making hideouts and caves and booby traps. <laughs> Our house, my parents in the backyard had a wooden fence, right? So of course the challenge was to walk on top of the wooden fence, right? <laughs> <laughs> Two by four. <laughs> and then they used to buy, um, you know, still had wooden, wooden soda crates back then. So they would buy, I guess my dad would buy like the seven up. Yeah. And you remember the, the soda crates would have the bottle opener on the wooden crate? <sighs> Yeah, relax on two sides. So if we're thirsty, right? If the door was locked and we couldn't get in, right? We knew where the soda was. So I can remember drinking warm seven up growing up. Yeah. All the way down. Right? Relax. Yeah, and then loose circles. And then my parents had had a pool in the back, but not fancy pool. It was was a plastic pool above ground with a um, some kind of aluminum pipe frame, yeah. and I guess had a pump and a little ladder. Yeah. So all the kids would come, and at the end we make whirlpool, right? And right behind us was this 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 family who was related to my parents, they're like second cousins, and the boy was big. Called Dicky, Dicky, we gotta get Dicky to make whirlpool. <laughs> so once you got the whirlpool going, all the small kids, you just float on your back <laughs> and go out for the ride. <laughs> uh, and then we had a white guava tree above it, and we probably had an electrical line or something, because I can remember one time the the brown spider falling into the water <laughs> the on the spider. back. The cane spider. Oh. Yeah, I don't miss those guys. Oh. Yeah. I had one in my desk one time. I was working up at the fruit fly lab. Opened my desk, had cane spider inside. Oh, oh. oh talk about With phobia. Sack. Yeah. With a sack. The what? With a sack. Oh, um, I don't remember. I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you grow up in Hilo, you got to remember if you have boots, yeah, outside. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Did you shake out your boots? What? Cane spider, centipede, um, 
I don't know what else, right? Crawling inside the boot. B-52. Yeah. Right? I yeah. think everybody had at least one experience. You put your foot inside, you rush in and you're like... <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold the ball. One hand up, one hand down. When I came up here for three years, three summers, I would go back. And I had a job as a lab, right? Lab rat, student lab rat at the fruit fly lab. And the whole drive up was, was lined by plumeria trees. Grew up in Hilo, you know, plumeria, you learn to make plumeria leaves, but after a while, it's like, oh, it's overwhelming. Like, uh, so this one summer, we had this uh, student from the mainland. So to us, it was, was half a joke, you know, it was for her. But we made this huge plumeria <laughs> Oh, she was so overwhelmed. We thought, it's not that beautiful. It's just plumeria. But uh, realized the culture, yeah, oh, she was overwhelmed. Must have been like three, four, five strands. <laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> Take a deep breath, stretch, and relax. Now remember the fingertips are pulling, being pulled and dragged upwards, up into the sky, down into the earth. You go fishing, the guys from Kona would bring their boats over to fish in Hilo once, <laughs> never again. <laughs> Take a deep breath and exhale. Yeah. And then you watch the fishing shows. Kona is like glass, yeah? You can see them from the shore. You can see them catching and fighting the fish. You're that close. You launch out a Hilo. Hilo is normal, three to five foot sets. Yeah, I remember being with my friend at the bottom of a trough. Not rough day. Just really large swells, gentle large swells. But you end up in the bottom of about a 10, 15 foot swell looking up. Like, oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> but when it's rough, oh, scary. Yeah. Relax the spine, feel the spine expanding. Yeah. And then relax, everything falls back into place. And then back then, the you know the most kalohi thing the kids did is they they hid hamakua kos up on the side of the road, and they threw rotten guavas at the cars. Now they don't throw rotten; yet. they throw the the green ones and they break the windshield. I never did it, but I know my friends would come back. Ah, <laughs> next one we did. <laughs> Take a deep breath, turn the palm, drop the elbow, turn the body, feel the spine being pulled, imagine some, the muscles pulling the spine and then letting go and then pulling the spine when you breathe in and letting go and then pulling the spine and letting go. And then pulling the spine again, and then letting go. And then pulling the spine, and letting go. And then pulling the spine, and letting go. Come back to center. Right in front of the heart. Smile, expand the heart. And turn the palm up and down. A little gentler turn, but you can feel the spine being pulled. And then when you release the spine, you let it spring back to center. And then grab the spine again. Just focus on the spine. And then release. And then grab the spine and feel the spine being pulled. Let the head turn, let the body turn. And release and one more time. Come back to center, solar plex, a little lower, breathe in, 
and up. Palms forward, lift the sternum, and down. Okay, press the feet into the earth, and then bring one foot in at a time. And press that foot in, and back. So, last week when we did this movement, right, it, we talked about, you can imagine like pulling something up right, and then pumping it down. Okay, so that's one way. But what we added is, you imagine something pulling your palm up now. So you're still pulling the chi from the ground, but imagine like something else, like there's a vacuum or suction, yeah? so something else is pulling the hand up. And then it releases, right? And just gravity, right? Just the weight of your hand, like floating in water all the way down. And then it pulls your hand up. So you can feel your, you can feel the bottom of your palm being pulled and drawn up. And then just let it float down. So imagine, I think, I think most of us have been in a pool or you swim, right? And you drop something and you, you have this image, right? Of us just floating, falling in the water. So you have that image when your hand comes down, right? Just falling in water. Just imagine you can see your head just falling. Right? Not being pulled, not being pushed, but you just let everything go. Just the weight of your hand, right? Just let it fall until it just rests. And then before it can stop, Right? It just rests before it can stop. It gets pulled, pulled back up, and then it just releases. Right? Just like pulling a parachute, it just releases from there. Okay? Right. Press the feet into the earth gently. Relax the bottom of the feet. Feel the toes reaching down. Right? Expand. Expand and relax the joints. And then feel something under your feet pulling, pulling your feet into the earth. We take a deep breath, let it all out, and then we'll begin. Yeah. One side, press one foot, and then the hands being pulled up. The other foot just pressing and being pulled into the earth. And then switching, release the hands, just the leg, pressing the leg, and down. Okay, we'll switch, breathing in, the hands being pulled, and then release just floating back down into the earth. Just focus on the leg. And just take your time. Try to keep your upper body still and relaxed. Okay. And pick the knee up as high as you comfortably can. Yeah. Just focus on that feeling, right? the leg being sucked into the earth, the hands being pulled from outside up and then released and then focus on the leg pressing, and just let the hands fall. And one more time, the hands being pulled upwards. And then come back to center, hold the ball, right? turn one knee out, turn the opposite and breathe in. You know, the fingers, fingers being pulled and stretched right up to the front of the room and relax, exhale. Drop the other knee, the fingers being pulled to the front of the room, dragging and turning your body and then release. Another side, breathing in. Right. And if you want to add, you can add feeling like the spine being pulled. Right. So fingertips pulling the fingers and the spine being pulled to one side and everything lets go. One more time. The spine pulling, the fingertips being pulled and let go. Come back to center. Breathe in and out. Keep the palms open. Right, like something pulling, right, pulling the fingertips. Okay, pick up opposite. Push the heel out. Press the knee down. 
lift and come back the other foot pressing into the earth or being sucked into the earth heel first press the knee down stretch the back of the leg and then lift and back and fingertips being pulled and stretched forward heel press the knee and then pump the foot reach the toe and then other side Breathing in, heel, press the knee and pump the toe, stretch the toe out, and then and then just need to add the turn of the body, and then come back. So the turn of the spine, right, heel, knee, pump the toe and pull the spine, feel the spine being pulled in one direction, one more time. Pull the spine and release. Last one. Pull the spine and release. And down. Okay, hold the ball. Right, press one leg down, release the other 45 and ankles. And just hold that leg down. Feel it being pulled and sucked into the earth. Feel the fingertips being pulled upwards. And feel this leg just releasing. Yeah. Do all the work over here. Do all the work in the standing leg. Yeah. Press the right leg down into the earth and then the left leg will release. Yeah. Okay, other side. Right. Press that leg into the earth and feel it being sucked into the earth. Sink into the hip joint. Yeah. Hold this down. Hold this leg down the whole time. And then this leg should just kind of bounce up. Yeah. And relax. And take your time on the stretching, on the flexing. Okay, other side, small toe, big toe. Again, press this leg into the earth. Okay, oops, small toe, big toe. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, you see when the foot is flat, and then you press that foot into the earth, and then you sink into the hip. This side releases. Yeah, it'll just kind of bounce up. I was reading somebody else's comment and they're saying, oh, before when I'm doing my Tai Chi and, I, and I'm shifting, right, I wait until my foot releases. Then I pick up the foot. So they have, they have the, um, the order of things to do correct, but I don't know if they understand how to sink so deep into the hip, yeah? But they understand that. Like, don't shift, don't pick up the leg if it's still stuck to the ground. Okay, so to release that leg from the ground, you have to press one side. Right? So even sitting, if you press one side, right, and then press here, you can feel this leg start to release. So if you hold that, right, it'll just kind of maintain. But if you let this go, then that, transfers back and this leg is going to become heavy so you press this right, and the toe and then sink into the hip you see how when they sink into the hip the leg releases even more so i just have to hold that there right and it releases all the tension over here but if i let this go all oh, this leg becomes heavy okay so on top of pressing you doing all the work right from here and you imagine something pulling your leg down and then you can release some of that tension you're not doing the work, right? Something else, gravity, air, whatever it is, cooling your legs down. And you can let go from there. All right. Pull the heels up, stretch the toes. Go all the way up on the tip of your big toe if you can. Yeah. Yeah, just pull, relax, relax, relax. Pull and stretch the bottom of your feet. I cannot remember who I was talking to about trigger finger. I don't know if it was this group or another group or... Oh, I know, it was at the senior fair. And I realized, I thought I said, Oh yeah, I know what, I know what you're talking about. I used to wake up in the middle of the night screaming because the joint would lock, right? While I'm sleeping, and while I'm sleeping, I try to do this. And as soon as I try to bend, right, it's locked, I'd wake up screaming. 
And then eventually it started to release. Uh, I would wake up and I realized what was happening. So I would pull, right? Because I had to open up the joint, right? And then I could fold the finger down and unlock it, right? And then just over time, whatever I was doing started to relax. But I realized, wow, I haven't had that in a long time. So, and I can't, I, I have to attribute the problem with the training now, you know, there's other things, but as I, I think as I started to really stretch the fingers, right? Just pull and stretch that constant stretching. You know, it's not overnight, but that constant stretching just kind of reshaped the muscles. So it lengthened the muscles again and released. Yeah. So just practicing that, yeah? stretching, pulling the fingers out and then relaxing relaxing the joints so they can expand by themselves and then like cables pooling the imagination those cables pooling yeah so just drop your shoulder drop your elbow yeah but the fingertips are still stretching straight out straight out right if they're pointed up to the sky straight out cables just pooling pooling if they're pointed at the ground just pooling pooling whatever direction you know, just pooling 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 just relax just relax and just imagine something else pulling, pulling, really just, just dragging, just dragging this out from there. Okay. I can't see my clock. I set it up wrong. Okay. I can see it, but I, I cannot see where the minute and the second hands are. I don't know if it's like 10 o'clock or 10.59. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can bear When it comes the other side, then then I know. <laughs> so once it hits 10 o'clock, I'll be fine. Okay. All right. So put the legs out again. Okay. Press the knees down. Yeah. And then relax. And see if it feels more relaxed in the beginning of class. Yeah. Oh, can you tell I'm holding my feet up? Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. That's automatic. Yeah. So listen to your own ankles. Are you holding your feet up or... Let them go. Okay. Yeah, it's a real conscious effort. Yeah, see, you gotta let the, yeah. So not pressing down, but just let them go. Let them fall. Yeah, see, now they're falling. Yeah. yeah. And look at your toes. <laughs> Did you let the ankle go, but are your toes like this? <laughs> are your toes curling up? Let your toes down. Yeah. Yeah, so we exert so much control, right? that it's automatic. Even when we don't have to have that physical control, we're still doing it. So you gotta be real conscious about letting it, letting it fall. All right, walk it back into place. Relax. Yep. So bring your feet back. Yeah. It says flat. Yeah. Yeah. And then reach the toes down and then slowly expand, expand the muscles, toes down so you can feel it nice and solid. And then as you expand, feel like something's pulling your feet into the earth. And just hold that constant pull. Bring the hands up. Imagine something pulling the head from above, suspending, everything opens up. And as your hands fall, you hold that suspension don't release that suspension. Just relax, but feel the head being supported and pulled from above. Take a deep breath. Open the palms. The fingers are being pulled and stretched outwards. And when you're ready, commencement, as you breathe in, feel the fingertips pulling the hands out. Bring it to the heart. Connect the chi with the heart, waking up the chi, waking up the heart, warming up the whole body, come inside the body, warm up all the organs, wake up the whole body, expand and contract. Right back to the heart, lift the sternum, one open and close. Turn to your right single whip turn and press and then turn back to the front and open raising the palms looking at the left hand keep on turning to one side right hand falls 
when the hands change up and down as you turn feel the spine being pulled and then released and then the muscles pulling the spine and then releasing and then the muscles pulling the spine in the other direction eyes looking either at the hand or the fingertip or through the hand Come back to center, turn a little bit to your left as you spiral back, right back to the heart, turn them up, and then repeat single whip on the left side, turn and press, and open raising the palm side of the face, and flow right into one saw, and look at the hand first. Feel the spine being pulled. And then when it releases, the hands start to release. And as soon as you release the spine, you spring back to center and the hands start changing. Come back. Oh, I'm sorry, one more time. Yeah. And come back to center, turn a little bit to your right as you spiral back. And brushing the knee, right side first, turn to the right and slide your right hand straight up so it comes right on the side of your ear. And then you drop the palm, breathing in and as you exhale, release the spine so you spring back to center, lift the sternum, turn the palms while the spine keeps on turning to the left. And then pull the spine to the right. The left hand slides up, the body turns. Release the spine and spring back to center. And then pull the spine to the left. And then release the spine and parry right. And then pull the spine and then release. And then pull the spine and then release. The hand flips over the cover. And pull the spine. The hands come outside of the legs. Breathe in and start to grab. Exhale, squeeze. Come back to center. Rolling back. Let the spine spiral both ways. Lift. Draw them back to the heart. Inner smile. Stir them up. And then left side. Turn to your left and slide the hand up. Breathe in. Drop the palm. Exhale. Fingertip taps the heart. And then expand that heart energy up. Keep on turning. Palms turn center. And pull the spine to the left so the right hand comes out. And then release the spine so you spring back to the right, then pull the spine, and then you release, parry left, and pull the spine, and then it releases, parry right, and then pull the spine, and then as you release the spine, cover, and then pull the spine, turn, 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 until the hands are outside of the knee, you breathe in, and then release the spine, so it springs back and then pull the spine to the right and then release the spine and then just let the body vibrate let the spine vibrate left and right fist on their elbow turn to your turn to your right press Almost like single whip, except drop the right hand. And then turn the waist. And then release the spine so you spring back to center. The bottom hand holds a fist. And then pull the spine. Breathe in. And as you release the spine, you spring back to center. And then pull the spine. And the hands up. And fold. Oh, I forgot what section. That's all right. 
or let it go. <laughs> I know some of you are going, mm -mm. <laughs> you forgot leisurely tying the coat. That's okay. That's okay because this section has it in. <laughs> right over here, leisurely tying the coat, right? Release the spine. You spring back and then pull the spine and then release. You turn back to center and then pull the spine to the right. And as you release the spine, the palm gets pulled upwards. And then pull the spine and the palms get pulled to the front and the palms get pulled, the fingertips get pulled. And then they release and you spring back to center. The one open and close. We'll repeat the other side, turn and press. And then drop the left hand when you open and then turn the waist, pull the spine. Then release the spine, you spring back, fist under elbow, breathe in and out, release the spine. Then pull the spine to the right, release. And then pull the spine to the left and pulse monkey. And release the spine, you come back to center, find the heart, right, heart energy. And then repulse monkey, keep on turning. Exhale. Keep on turning. Pull the spine to the left. Release. Tap the heart. And expand that heart energy. Let the right hand go. Usually tighten the coat. Wipe down. Release, the palm gets pulled and sucked upwards and release and then the fingertips get pulled to the front and dragged in a circle. Double palm and release. Closing and down. Release the legs, and bring one leg back in, and the other leg. Take a deep breath, and down. Oh. I'm laughing to myself because I gotta get recertified. <laughs> you forgot a section. Oh, you're gonna fail. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at my videos. I did it correct in the videos. <laughs> okay. So more and more, you, 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 something else is pulling and controlling. Yeah. So more and more, you imagine the muscles, right? If this is the spine, the muscles are on, right? pulling the spine one way and then it releases. So it springs back. And then it pulls the spine the other way and releases, it springs back, right? So you pull the spine, right? you, you relax the neck, everything follows. And then when you release, it springs back, right? And if we're going back and forth, right? So it's going to spring back. And just as it relaxes, right? It's going to pass center a little bit. You grab it again. Right? And then it releases, it springs back and then you grab it again. And then release, it springs back and grab it again. And release, it springs back and you grab it again. Release and spring back. So if we're doing this one, we come up, I have to pull my spine this way, release, right? And then pull my spine this way, and then release. And then pull my spine this way, right? and then release. Yeah, so that's that coiling. Yeah. So you take time and just imagine, like you just sit here like this, right? Just, just put your hands here. Just really relaxed. Yeah. Just, just a little bit. Close your eyes. You can have a little bit of light come through. And then you feel your spine. While well, your eyes close, you, you practice pulling your spine. Follow, release, and pull your spine. So you close your eyes just a little bit to take away all the other distractions. And then you don't worry about my speed. You don't worry about your neighbor's speed. 
just listen to yourself, pulling the spine and then letting it go. And then pulling the spine and letting it go. Relax the face, right sun in the chest. Relax all the joints, only pulling the spine and letting it go. So, you take some time for that imagination until, like I said, you want to get to the point where you think of a point in your body, external, internal, and you can feel that point. So when you start thinking of pulling your spine, you can feel the spine being grabbed. And you want to get to that point. And you just have to relax and just, just play with that imagination all the time. Yeah? I always say you got to become baby again. Right? When, when I watch the, the young but older granddaughter, you know, she can self-play for hours. When she knows I cannot play with her, right? I'm doing, I'm doing dinner, but she wants to be at the house. She goes into the, her little castle, right? She goes on the couch, all her stuffed animals and her dolls are there. And she decides who she's playing with today. And I can hear, right? She plays every character, right? And as she, the more Disney movies she watches, right? The more plots and themes and conversations she has is, and can be fighting, can be, oh no, oh you do this, right? The com everything comes out. And you know, right? If you peek and you watch her, right? You can see the emotion, right? It's all imagination, but she can feel it's real, right? During that time. And if Nai Nai comes and looks, hey, you left your toy out and she grabs it. Oh, thunder and lightning comes out. <laughs> and I have to run out of the kitchen because the two of them are fighting. <laughs> so this is the same thing. For, right? It's a different application, but you imagine you can feel the muscles pulling. And if you relax, you're going to feel the spine grab. So you let it turn. Right? And you let it turn. So, can you imagine if you can imagine the feet are being sucked into the earth, just suspended, and you have that frame, right? And we're doing leisurely tying the coat. So, it doesn't matter, right? So, so we start from leisurely tying the coat. We start from here. So, everybody's going to start from brush knee. Everybody start from brush knee from here, one hand here, yeah? So, the first, the first movement is we're going to turn the sand's going to come up and then it's going to come out right so from here right you're going to turn the bottom hand comes out and then center okay so we listen to the spine as we do this right so from here you're going to pull the spine right so it pulls the spine relax this hand this hand will come to center and then that momentum that momentum of it swinging you let it come up and right over here, you release the spine, so you spring back to center. Okay, so you try that again, right? Starting from here, right? You pull the spine, let this hand swing up, and then release the spine and let it swing back to center. So that momentum pulling and swing back. Yeah? So again, brush knee up here. Pull the spine, release. Yeah. You try it, try it the other side, try it the other side. Same thing, so we're gonna pull the spine that way, right? So just relax this hand. Pull the spine, this hand starts to come up, release. Yeah, yeah, is that it springs out? Yeah, it goes, right? So, and again, that interesting thing, if you focus in on one part of the body, you start relaxing everything else. So the natural movement starts coming out, you just let it go, yeah? So. This way. <laughs> right, so I'm going to pull the spine, right? Pull the spine, release. Yeah. 
And then and you don't force it out now. Just let it come out. Just let it spring out. Doesn't matter where it is. Okay. Pull the spine. Release. Yeah. So when you release, we're facing front. Yeah. So one more time. Pull the spine and release. Yeah. And then just, just make it softer and gentler. Okay. So pull the spine and release. Yeah. And if you let go, then if you don't do anything, it's like it's like that doll, right, in the back of the car. You release, it's going to spring, and it's just going to bounce. So if you don't do anything, you let the body, you let that spring bounce. Let move, right? Don't just let it stop. Just let it bounce. Yeah. You try that again. Yeah. Right. Pull the spine and release. Yeah. And just let it, just let it shake. Yeah. Try, try the other side, right? From here. Pull the spine, release, just gently release it, right? You feel it shaking from here, right? Drop this hand, pull the spine, release. Drop this hand, pull the spine, and release. Let's see, let's let the body shake. Yes, and if you don't feel it shaking, make it shake, right? Because it's not shaking because you're making it stop. Right, so you have to train yourself. No, I want it to move. Yeah, I want it to move. First time I go to class and everybody's like this, right? Oh, and they're shaking. I'm like, nothing's moving. So I just have to like, <laughs> what am I doing wrong? How come I'm not moving, right? So you do it anyway. You copy and you feel silly doing it. And you, and you feel like, oh, I'm faking it, right? They're going to look me. I mean, like, well, he's not doing it, he's faking it. But what I realize is you have to teach your body how to vibrate. So you just let it, you just let it shake a little bit. And then it's coming out, right? And then as you, as you start to release the tension, your body already knows how to vibrate. So one day you're doing it and, you, and all of a sudden it just kind of takes over by itself and then you can stop it. Yeah. So when we do this, right, just let it vibrate. Teach your body how to shake. Give it permission to shake and move. Yeah? yeah. So, okay. So going back, doesn't matter left or right. Right. So we're gonna pull the spine. Right. The hand comes in and you release. It comes back to center. Right. And then it settles. So then the next move is we're gonna turn again. You notice we are we're always pulling the spine in the same direction. So this we want to turn. This hand comes down and comes up here, and then we come back to center. Okay, so we look at this move, right? So from here. So you're going to pull your spine. You pull your spine and you relax your arms. So it's going to fall. When you release the spine, you come back to center. When you release the spine and come back to center, you let this palm circle up. Yeah, let me stand so you can see. Yeah? So you're going to pull the spine. It falls. When you release the spine, this hand rotates up. It doesn't stop there, right? It rotates up, it starts floating. So right over here, you imagine something pulling and drawing the palm up. Yeah. Okay. So that's a larger movement, a longer movement. And this fingertip is connected, right? So I'm pulling my spine, it falls. I release and then imagine something pulling my hand up and I'm still turning back to center. Right, tuck it in up to here. Yeah, so that's make that the one move. Yeah. <laughs> right, so pull your spine, the hand falls, you release your spine, it turns and imagine something pulling your hand up as you return back to center. Right, from here. Yeah. So again, pull your spine. Release the spine and the palm gets sucked and pulled upwards. And right at the top, you tuck your elbow in. So when you tuck your elbow in, the palm's gonna, the palm's gonna rotate to the front. It's gonna be right in the center, right? So it opens up. So it's coming up. My elbows are out a little bit. I wanna tuck my elbows in and let, let this hand start to come out, right? Give it room. Right, and point it straight in front of you. It's going to point straight, straight ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, 
you want it to so, so this one's going to put yeah right here it's going to go right right in the center but then go straight out from you from there yeah? so right so so you're pulling the spine and you release and right at the end you, you, tuck, you start tucking your elbow and then you pull the pulling the spine right and something pulling the fingertip out from here yeah okay so 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 from here again right you're pulling the spine the hand falls fingertip connects you release and then something pulling the hand up right the body just relaxes it's turning back to center and then you start tucking your elbow and then pull the spine again right so you turn but then something has to pull your hand out right it's pulling your hand out and then you release the spine and you're going to spring back right there you see the circle start to come out right so then that next move right you release the spine and then you're going to you're going to spiral all the way around to here right so this spiral move okay right? but instead of instead of you spiraling right whatever is pulling that cable pulling on the fingertip now is dragging you out like this oh and right at the end it has to release so you can spring back to center so each movement gets a little bit more um involved yeah i don't want to say complicated it's just a little bit more involved right? you start you start adding more of this pool right you start adding more of the spine pool so any turn of the body you can imagine twisting the spine okay? either you can just say a turn 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 or you can imagine Oh, something my spine's being twisted from inside right so can you imagine you have these two energies now right you twisting the spine at the same time you're being pulled and dragged and right over here that big wind up right you just cranking up that spring right and, and you've probably had to do something like that before like even winding up a hose right hey come and help me right you winding it up winding up string really tightly and somebody's pulling otherwise right, you gotta take out the slack and then right at the end Boda you get distracted right you've coiled it up too hard and Boda you let go and the whole thing goes boom <laughs> right fishnet and that's what we're going to do right we're starting off from here you're starting off gently right just pulling the spine and kind of letting this spring out but then something could pull it out right and then pulling the spine but then you could add something pulling and sucking this down and then you let it go and it starts springing back up and then pulling this up right and then tucking and then pulling the spine now something's dragging 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 right i'm twisting this way and i'm pulling out that way and then before i can let go right it starts dragging this way so i come out here let the spine go and as the spine lets go right this is still momentum coming out and right over here the spine is wound up the hand is wound up and when you let go whoop, <laughs> you're gonna come back to front right so you come back to front if you do it gently right you can kind of control the direction but if you just let it go it's gonna be whoop, right? it's gonna be like this yeah it's, it's gonna be vibrating so each each movement just in that sequence right you add a little bit more 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 and then it's it's going to force you to study if you do if you want to do that it's going to force you to study oh if i when do i release the spine and just let it go right when do i grab it and let it go right so when do i control and not control <laughs> from there so we try that again right so even moving into this already this is falling you can imagine the spine pulling you into place right and then letting go right so as you let go you're going to start springing back and then pull the spine and then let it go right and then pull the spine right? and then let it go and then the hand being pulled up into place and then pull the spine and pull the fingertip and then let the spine go but the hand is still being pulled the fingertips and then you let everything go 
Yeah, you see that. Whoa. <laughs> so you just have to learn like, oh, what is, where do I want my hand to end up, right? So you want both palms, you want this swiveling to the front, just coming out and swiveling to the front. I tell you, I remind you this, right? I, or I haven't re reminded you again, if you think of your hula moves, right? All those big round sweeping hula moves and you think, oh, let me, what if I put a hula hand in here, right? In that kind of movement, right? Let that come out. Where is it going to be? Oh, it's going to come center. Because at some point, that wasn't an expression about nature and flowers and whatever, right? It was somebody's hand, pop, <laughs> it's a fighting move. Right? But when they say, hey, you cannot do martial arts anymore, what did they do? Oh, no, I'm doing dance, right? What is that for? Oh, I'm moving the branch out of the way, and right? I'm playing with water. It's a flower. It's nature. Oh, okay. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Oh, we, we just, we just, they're just guiding my hand, right? They're not pushing hands. You're not doing two man. Oh, he, he's just showing me where the form is. Oh, okay. <laughs> when nobody's watching, right? You go back and forth and you start hitting the chest, tapping lightly, right? heart. What are you doing? Oh, we're massaging. Right? So if you, if you haven't seen it, right? The Lomi, the Lua, and the Hula, Right? I like this, right? So the fighting, the aesthetic, the healing are like this. Which one you want to be? You make it look emphasized to that one, right? You want to heal, you start pulling out all the healing qualities. and right? You want to dance, you start pulling out all the aesthetic qualities. You want to fight, you start pulling out all the martial qualities. Right? And the same. All the same. So you look at this move, right, from here. Okay, and here. Okay. You can f easy to find the hula in there. Yeah. Even in some of the warm ups, easy to find the hula in there. Any of these circular moves, you can find it. Okay. So you try that one more time. You, if you want, you can stand up and try it. Yeah, if, you, if you stand up, just one foot in front of the other, the brushing, the hand that's dropped. Okay. So you can do it in the chair, you can stand. So, right, starting from the brush knee, so you're going to pull the spine, right, and then it's going to release, right, and then pull the spine, right, and then it releases, and then pull the spine, right, it releases, and gets dragged to the front, yeah, from there. Right. And you try again, right, right from here, right, you, you release, so, so if you pull the spine and then release, and then pull the spine a little bit, right, and pull, and then you release, and then pull the spine and release, okay, then pull the spine and then release, and then pull the spine and then keep on going, release, and then pull the other way and then release. Yeah. Comes out cool. See the hula come out. <laughs> so you try this, right? Instead of doing Tai Chi, just just play just play with your mind and say, Oh, I'm learning a new hula form. Okay? So you do that and you think, oh this is hula class, right? Where's Macy? <laughs> this is hula. So you're not doing, you're not listening to Randy doing Tai Chi. Oh, what's all my hula principles, right? And then you come back in there and you're like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. So the hula just a little freer, right? Yeah. Because just the play, the expansion, but the chi, you got to play, right? So left or right doesn't matter. Right? You can switch legs, you can switch legs the other way you want, right? Right? And so, to help you, right? If if I turn sideways, right? right? I'm letting my body go back and forth. Right? We're back and forth. Right? It's just going back and forth from here. So sitting back, right? And then coming forward, right? 
sitting back and then coming forward. Okay, and sitting back and then coming forward. Yeah. So you let your body shift forward and back and that'll help the dance, right? So you can feel, there's no restriction. Yeah. So you just gotta close your mind and think, oh yeah, what if this were a hula class, right? How would I do it in hula? Okay. So, right? So pull and release. So starting from the brush knee, right? Then pull, release. Pull the spine, release. Pull the spine and pull the fingertip and drag down and then release from there. And so release. Pull the spine right here, right? And then re release and pull the spine and then release. And then pull the spine and then release. And then pull the spine and then release and pull and come up. Okay? Yeah. So try and get comfortable if you're standing, okay? Where you sit back and let the front toe rock up. Yeah, let the front toe rock up. Because if you do this, this is going to lead right into the standing form. And I'll show you where, why you want the toe to rock up yeah, from there. Okay, so, yeah, so yeah, I'm going to face my back to you. Which way would you say? Okay, yeah. So you're pulling, right, you pulse monkey, release, and then pull the spines. Okay, and then you release, you're going to spring back and then pull the spine, sit back, and then release. And then pull the spine, and release, and then pull the spine, and then release, and pull the spine, and then release. Yeah. And right here, let the foot come up. This, so a follow step, yeah? yeah. So try that again from here, from the brush knee, okay, and bend a little bit now. From here. So you pull the spine to the left, right? Sit back. The right hand comes up, you release, and right? you come forward. Let the left foot step up. Okay, step back with the left foot. Sit back, pull the spine to the left. Right? Let the hands drop, pick up the front toe. Release, yeah. and then pull the spine to the right and pull the fingertip out, and then release, and then pull the spine to the right, release, and release the back leg. Yeah. Okay. Brush knee. Okay. Sorry, this, this. So, pull this, sit back and pull the spine to the left. The right hand comes up, release. Release the foot, and it comes up. Step back, pull, sit and pull the spine to the left and sit back. Release the front leg as so it comes in. The right palm floats up and then we're gonna step out. So release the spine and step out. And the back leg follows. And then step back, whoops, step back. And sit back and pull the spine to the right and pull the palm to the right, releasing the front leg and release. And release the back leg. Yeah. It's a standing form. <laughs> <laughs> Try one more time. That's a standing form. So it steps out, right? So brush knee, and then it follows steps, release, and then step back and pull the spine to the left. Right? The hand comes up. Right here, you can feel that tension on the front leg, so you release that tension, right? And release. And then pull the spine to the left, right? And release. Release the leg and step up and release the tension on the back leg. And then step back and pull the spine to the right. Release, release the tension on the back leg. Yeah. Yeah. So 
So leg and hand, right? Every time the tension comes out in this form, right? It stretches, let it go. So when you let it go, right? That coiling, even over here now, it's coiling, let it go. Right? <laughs> yeah. So it makes it so much softer, so much prettier. And then from there, you can shape it and mold it. You want it to be small, large, stricter, bigger, gentler, wilder, right? Could be like, could be like tornado, yeah? Mm. Right? Could be. Mm. So the more springing, the more snap you want, the more you have to wind up the spine and then bah, let it go. The softer you want, you wind with the spine, but a little gentler, right? And then just a gentle release, right? So you decide what the action, what the action is. Yeah. So try the, the, the left foot up. So the brush knee, the left foot up, right? Sitting, right? Just releases. Step back, pull the spine to the right. Left hand comes up, right? Feel the tension on the left leg, release. Yeah. Pull the spine to the right, release. Hand comes up, left leg comes up with the hand. Step. Pull the spine to the left a little, release the back leg. Step back. As you sit back and relax, you pull the spine to the left. Winding and then release. Release the back link from there. Yeah, you just did the whole standing form. <laughs> I love leisurely tying the coat because all that wind up in the step, yeah. So I can make it look really, I can make it look really strict, right? Really martial. Right, so it could be like just. Just a little bit more like, oh, you, right? I'm, I'm manipulating somebody, right? Somebody's trying to punch me, grab my hand, and then whip me, right? Or you can just make it like, just soft, right? It could just be soft. So more health is still soft. It's still a little bit on the martial side, right? And then it can start to cross over and be whatever you want, right? It's from the health to whatever. So it could just be, okay, if you just enjoying the movement. Yeah. Right, you can just... You want it more dance, more expressive. None is wrong, none is right, right? It's what's the intent? And that's the Qigong. So the Qigong is you lead with the E, the intent, the Qi follows the intent, and the blood follows the Qi. Yeah. So you know what the intent is, right? The one question always to test the teacher, right? If you find out one who know their knowledge is, well, why do you do that? <laughs> why do you do that move and then you listen carefully to the answer they're going to tell you the truth they're going to lie right or they're going to walk away right right just do what i told you to do <laughs> don't ask questions in class right why you got to do that <laughs> or they, oh yeah you use it exactly for this right <laughs> This is what it's used. When you start hearing, this is what it's used for. It might, it might be true, but you listen like, is it soft? In other words, what else can you use it for? How else can be used? Or no, no, it's only for this. Right? And if it's only for this, right, they either don't know, right, or they're holding back, right, or they're not sharing, right. And that's that's normal, right? Because you, when we teach, you have to decide, like, oh, how much do I share with everybody? You know, sometimes it's like, it's like my gao recipe. 
oh, I had to make it myself. I had to suffer myself. I, I didn't share my gal recipe with except family and a few friends for years. And then now I joined this Cantonese recipe group and everybody's sharing recipe. Why am I holding on to it, right? I want, I want your gal. Oh, here's my recipe. Go make it yourself. <laughs> I realized, you know what, that, that's... Why am I why am I hoarding and like oh, I have to make it like oh here's my recipe I'll teach you how to I'll, I'll make a video here the video is here don't ever ask me again oh how do you make it here's the link to the video <laughs> but yeah why do we hold on yeah yeah for for years when I joined the kung fu club I realized every Chinese New Year. The same guys under the same guys are videotaping the same clubs doing the same sets every year. After a while, you're like, why? You realize it's out there all over in the wild. But until you come into class, right, and the teacher touches you and starts explaining and showing you, yeah, you really don't know, yeah, from there. Oh, what time is it? Oh, we passed 10.30, see? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Uh -huh. So, yes, yeah, so I hope you, you know you see that, right? You can make it whatever you want. Yeah. And you've got to give yourself permission, right, to move a certain way. Yeah, there's always self defense, like self defense. How do you use this? The way I, the way I answer that nowadays, so, you know, this is one example of how you could use this. Yeah. Teaching you how to move. Yeah, teaching you how to move. All right, extend the legs, come up. Ah, and down. Yeah, reset the body, relaxed. Okay. Just rest your hands on your lap, palms down or palms up. They feel different, so you try both and see which one, which one appeals to you at the time. Just gently close your eyes. Open the throat. Breathe in from the top of your head. Just flow that sunlight down into your body. Just constantly charging your heart, constantly charging your own little sun. Relax the chest. Sink the air down below your belly button to your lower tantin. Relax your face. And smile from inside. Just cultivate that heart energy. Any distractions, acknowledge it, and then bring yourself back. Slowly open your eyes. Ah, okay. ah, warm up your hands, warm up the fingers. Yeah, shake your legs around. <laughs> ah, warm up the eyes. Yeah. And then gently brush the hair back. Ah. 
Oh, so so a funny video, short video. You know, everybody makes videos nowadays, right? Everybody's a YouTube star and stuff. But it was a um, cute video. I don't know Australia or someplace about how to get your husband to do the cooking. <laughs> so the wife comes out and she's holding a plate of foil and she goes outside the door and she's dragging the barbecue out and just dragging, abusing it. And then she's like doing stuff and like, oh, how do you do this? And then the screw falls out. And so the husband comes out like. What are you doing? Just give me that. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so for Father's Day, you find, you say, oh, we're going to do your favorite thing. You want a barbecue and all that. I know you love to do it, but it's Father's Day. I'll do it for you. Right? And you just struggle until they can't stand it and push you out of the way. Ah, let me do it. <laughs> and you go inside, open your bottle of beer or wine or whatever, and turn on your, turn on your soap dramas. <laughs> Oh, let me know if you need help. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay. All right, and you know, it's getting hotter, yeah? Just this past week, all of a sudden, every day is in the 80s. Yeah, and nighttime, every, right? It, it's not, it's gone up a few. So it's not dropping into the 60s anymore. Right? Yeah. And it's getting more humid. Oh, the humidity has changed. All of a sudden, our air conditioner drips a lot of water. And I told you for months, uh, I don't know if I said for months, like hardly any water was coming out of the AC. I'm thinking, how, how is this possible? Yeah. So, yeah, make sh do make sure you hydrate properly. Yeah. And if you're doing doing stuff in the sun, right, just just remember it's getting hotter, so a little extra protection, a little extra water, right? Take your time. You know, those kinds of things. Yeah, you take care. All right. Hands up. Nice deep breath. Let everything stretch and open and fall back into place. Ah, right hand, left hand. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah, what happened to all the, the husbands? Did? That's, that's so odd. Yeah, just. Yeah. I know you're male, Ross. <laughs> I know you're a husband. <laughs> and a dad. <laughs> <laughs>